Hey there, Baba! In this video, we rig eyes in After Effects. Here we have a fuzzy friend and we want to rig its eyes. Let's start by hiding the layers we don't want to see in our layers panel. You can hide layers and open up some room in your layers panel, but still have them show up in your comp. To do this, just click on this little icon and then the bigger shy button. And poof, they're gone. Like the lights in your fridge when it's closed. They're available. You know they're there. But only when you need them. Let's create a mini joystick to let us control the direction of the eyes. We'll create a handle and an area for it to play in. You can have layers in your composition that won't show up in your final render. These are called guide layers and you just need to right click on your layer and select guide layer. We'll set the joystick layers as guide layers so they're only visible to us when we're animating them. Next we'll select our joystick handle and both pupils. Hit P to show their positions. We'll link up one of the pupil's positions to the handle's position. As soon as we do that, the pupil jumps to where the handle is. This is okay, and it just means that they both have the same position value. To be able to move it back to its place and still have it linked, we'll include plus value inside its expression. Even though it moves off screen, we can now move it back to its proper position. There we go. We now have one pupil linked to our joystick. We'll copy the same expression to the other pupil. Now they're both linked up, but they come out of their eyeballs. To fix this, we'll add a set mat effect to the pupils and select the eyeballs as the source mat. Now the pupils will stay in their eyeball area. Let's give our fuzzy little friend some eyelids for more expression. We'll add two rectangles for each eye. Set their anchor points to the left and right bottom corners and add two sliders to the layer. One to open or close the eyelids and one for expression. How angry or sad it should be. Now, separate the dimensions of the shape layer and link the Y position to the slider we just created. Again, add value to the expression to bring it back to its original place. Now we can use the slider to open and close the eyelids. We we'll also link the rotation of each shape to the expression slider we just made. Boom. We can now control the eyelid's expression with this slider. Hmm, right now they both are getting the same rotation value, but they need to be the opposite. To make the rotation of a shape the opposite of your slider value, you'll just have to add a negative sign to its expression. Now we have two rotations linked to one slider, but with opposite values, one plus four and the other negative four. Now to turn the thick eyebrows to actual eyelids, we'll use the set matte effect again. Add a set matte to the eyeballs and select the eyelids as the source layer. Hmm, it's working the opposite way. To fix this, just switch invert on and it will look correct. Now do the same with the other eyeball. To make the eyes pop a little, we'll also add a stroke layer effect with a subtle color. Nice. But what's happening there? Hmm. Let's adjust the eyelids a little. There we go. 
again, to keep the pupils inside the eyeballs and below the eyelids. We'll add... You guessed it, another set of set mats. And now we have our eyes rigged. Lastly, to make the eye movement more dynamic, we'll add a null layer and link everything to it. Link the null layer's position to our joystick handle, but add a quarter of its value. Reposition the eyes and now the eyeballs will slightly move towards the direction our friend is looking at. Extra tip, to make the eyes appear more three-dimensional, you can add a ball to fan and link its position to the nulls. Just make sure to move the set mat effect below the ball effect. <laughs> And there we have it. Hope you liked this video and found it useful. Please hit the like button and subscribe to learn more tips and tricks. Oh, and you can also find a project file to this video in the descriptions below for free. So subscribe for more. <laughs> you know, you could use some bald effect.